Yo guys, it's Brooke here, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Deji and Jake Paul press conference as well as the Logan Paul and KSI press conference highlights. And today I'm just going to be giving my thoughts on it and my opinions. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Make sure to leave a like if you're new and subscribe, turn on notifications for some interesting videos and as well as boxing videos, which I'll be bringing very soon. So hopefully you enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get straight on into the... Press conference. It's Jake Paul. So straight away, I, I want to point out the crowd. It's completely UK based. It's they hate the yeah. pools. Hey, boo if Deji's a bitch. Jake Paul takes yeah, the pressure a bitch. very well and comes straight out of the bat with some. That's crazy. I thought you guys eh. Deji's team. I mean, it's all right. They're yeah. they're mediocre insults. Fuck Jake Paul. But yeah, he really knows how to handle Fuck. the pressure. He doesn't. He, he doesn't seem phased by the UK crowd, which yeah. hate them so much. Don't be throwing anything. Yeah. Don't be throwing nothing. All right. Right, right from where people, from where people hate them, and it's just you know the all trouble, right. the troubled people there. Opponent. They're throwing stuff, and it's, it's, it's disgusting. But the crowd, again, they love. They love the UK. They, they hate the pools, and they're loving. They're loving Deji right now, as you can see. See Deji getting all up in his face. He's enjoying it. What's that? What's yeah, the crowd. The crowd all Deji side. I love this. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck again, this is like the uh well, how are you gonna front out of me though? Yeah, again this was like the USA press conference where they're all just chanting fuck Jake Paul. And especially when the crowd isn't against you, it's not the best idea to call him dumb. But you got Deji's equivalent to Walmart. I, I didn't feel like this press conference, this uh, face-off was as good, to be honest. But True Geordie there, not taking any shit. He's just trying to get on it. Yo, welcome to England, motherfucker. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Yeah. Yeah. I feel, I feel like from where Jake Paul's been doing his shows, he's been getting a lot of experience on how to handle the pressure of the crowd, even if it is against him. So I feel like he's doing all right there. All right, all right. I have to step in and fight you myself because you're a bitch. Pussy. You're a yeah. pussy. Oh, let it out. Deji got him with buddy. some good insults there. Obviously, with the crowd on his side, he's gonna be a bit more hyped up. Is that true? See, you see that? You see that bottle fly across and hit Geordie on the feet. I feel like the people throwing stuff there, absolutely disgusting. Whether you like him or not. I think that was absolutely disgusting, and I, d I, I don't condone it. Yeah, I'm glad he made that point there. No, after my brother fucks up Logan, I'm down to fight KSI too. <laughs> he fucked up there. After my brother fucks up Logan, so after Logan fucks himself, he's gonna try and fuck KSI. Idiot. <laughs> Even Deji knows. <laughs> There's no issues anymore. Training is training is amazing. All right, I'm training to destroy you, and that's what everyone's gonna see. All this I hope Deji can back up that his cockiness. It. I hope Deji can back that up what it. he's saying. Hey, hey, is that your tubby sparring partner? Oh, Jake Paul yeah. coming out with some. Oh, that is harsh. Very harsh. Maybe unnecessary. I feel like he came out well there with that insult. Come on in today to Vic's boxing gym. We train Deji. And that's it. I felt down. That's how it is. I feel like Jake's coming in with some actual insults and Deji's just paring it off. Like, damn straight. I don't give a shit. Maybe he could have come out a bit better, but you know, it is what it is. Do you think Jake Paul is putting minimum? At least try on the second press conference. Jake, calm down, calm down, right? I, I thought I thought Jordy was gonna kill him there. Bare minimum videos up to make it look like he's not training. So he's got excuses, or do you just think he's trying to hide it from you? Yeah, I just hope he can fight better than he can dress. Cause you dress like shit. Just completely avoided the question, but no, shit. you just bad. No, you just bad. Actual shit. Yeah. yeah Let it out. Yeah, who's period blood? Let it out. Who's period blood? Let it out. Oh, Deji messes up there, cause he's he's saying about who's period blood is that? Cause he's wearing a red suit, but he forgets he's wearing a red t-shirt. He messed up there. <laughs> Keep Everybody's yelling. throwing stuff, so just calm the fuck keep down, alright? Alright, everyone's gonna leave the stage if you keep throwing stuff. 
the fact that uh, he had to say that because people were throwing stuff, it, it, I think that is disgusting. So, again, I do not condone it. I think it's terrible. The footage of Deji sparring, he gets hit in the stomach once Yo, and he drops man, to the ground. Man, make sure you get what you, you can't deny that. I feel like the sparring footage of Deji at the start wasn't great, but I'm sure he has improved. Like, at the start, he was... He was shit, let's be honest. But I'm sure now the footage is so much better, and I hope Deji does a lot better. You can't fuck Jake Paul. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are dumb. Say something Again, else. calling Say the crowd else. dumb when they're against you. Bad you. idea. You're the bigger guy. If you don't win, is that not even more humiliating for you since Deji is clearly smaller right, than you're, you? You're still wearing heels. I feel like the size advantage doesn't mean as much. If they weigh a similar amount, and if they have more skill than the other, it, I don't think the size makes that much of a difference. So hopefully, yeah, that isn't affected in the fight. No one supports this kid besides the 800 people in this room. Jake is coming in with some proper insults. He's really going at Deji where it hurts. In, in his most vulnerable places that he's been showcased so far. And I feel like he, he's getting the upper yeah, hand, yeah. but... Jake. Again, it's Deji isn't really phased no, by no it, touching. so again, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Let's do a face off right now. Right. No face off time. It's a face off time. And you can hear the crowd really getting behind Deji. This is one thing that I really didn't like the eye contact. And you can hear that guy saying, like, Stop Don't throwing shit. Anything. Come on. And in True Geordie's video, you can. He tells you how annoyed he gets at that guy. It's ridiculous. No, right. no face to face. That is a pussy move. Pussy move from Jake. I respect Deji a lot no for that. Eye contact. What did I say? Jake isn't that much taller than him, to be honest. No, come on, come on. Oh, it's Shannon Briggs. Oh my god. Let's go, champ. Funny, but god, he's annoying. Suck your mum. Right. Deji going at it straight at the mum. I mean, maybe a bit, maybe a bit unnecessary, but. He's he's trying to get in his head. Leave the stage. Leave the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Leave the stage. Yeah. More chanting. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, the crowd really get behind Deji. But I feel like this press conference was a bit more of a, you know, just a back and forth shouting contest. I beg you, lot, stop throwing shit. The fact that Toby had to get on the stage and tell people to stop throwing stuff, even Toby having to get out there, who's they're not listening to True Geordie. I, th I think I don't think he should have had to done that. To be honest, I feel like that's unfair on him and everyone else there, even the production crew. So my final thoughts on that: I feel like Jake done a bit better when it comes to delivering sort of insults and trying to do stuff which will get inside Deji's head, but then Deji just pars it off like it's nothing. I feel like that one's hard to call. I do hope Deji wins this fight, and. Obviously, my support for the UK YouTubers do stand. I will. My allegiance is to the UK, so I do hope they win. But yeah, I just seriously hope uh, it's a good fight and Deji's training is going all right. So that's great. And I haven't really seen much of Jake Paul. I feel like he's not revealing much because he doesn't want Deji to get an upper hand. So I think Jake's quite clever with how he's being. But I want Deji to win, I hope Deji wins, and my full support goes to Deji. So, that's my opinions and reactions to that side of the press conference. Right, now it's time for the Logan Paul KSI side press conference. If anyone can get me a full track of that violin track. Oh my god, that's brilliant. I'm so hyped for this fight, by the way. The challenger. Of course, you got to announce the challenger first. And oh my god, the crowd hates him, everyone hates him. Suck your mum, going straight at it, Deji continuing. And we got the champion! KSI. Oh, again with the wig. I absolutely love it. He comes on so casual. He knows what he wants to do. Welcome to London, motherfucker! Welcoming with a bang. I like that. Ah. Oh. I I really admire KSI's charisma. That Walmart shit won't work here, boy. Yeah, I'm good. I'm glad it won't work because the Walmart stuff was terrible. Logan Paul, he's got the face of a man that wants to leave. He doesn't want to be there. Already suffered enough. We have. We lost to Croatia in the semi-final. 
We don't. Yeah, it's bad. And KSI is really going in straight away. Logan looks like he's about to cry. And going straight in with the girlfriend. Oh, maybe a bit of a low blow. Chloe Bennett. What's up, babes? Okay. One thing I do not condone is the crowd chanting, She's a ho. But KSI didn't say that, and people were getting the wrong idea and saying he chanted that, but he didn't, he didn't chant it. Even he's there, like, I didn't say it. Wait, 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 so. Why don't you introduce me to her? Oh no. Well, you only have 85% of your testicle. God, he. Let me give her the extra 15. He knows what he wants. Even that, even that guy in the green hat is smirking. He's smirking. Oh, every time, <laughs> every time Logan Paul went to speak, KSI shut him down. Shut him down. Didn't let him speak at all. How are you gonna try and audition for Baywatch, get the part, and still not end up in the final movie? It's quite funny because KSI's just going in. Logan Paul hasn't said anything. Up in the final movie. KSI is just going in. Where, where were you? Oh yeah. Deleted scenes. Pouring him off. Yeah. Logan Paul doesn't look like he wants you to be there. Let everyone has everyone has my back. This this part everyone is quite funny because your ludicrous mom Wait for it. And your disgusting delusional dad. <laughs> Greg Paul You're disgusting, mate. Comes you with the worst comeback ever. With one hand, right? You wouldn't do shit. You're an old man. KSI really goes in on his dad. On Greg Paul. He's not even fighting in an undercard fight or anything. But he goes in there. That is disgusting. But yeah, what, the reference to that in a Jake Paul video. Uh, they were doing some like kissing thing. And Greg Paul was kissing some like 20 year old girls. So it's quite disgusting actually. Look at him. He's proper gassed. He's proper one in it. Deadbeat, bold headed prick. He's proper going for it. How are you gonna make not one, but two dumbass, dumbass children? Children. What the fuck is wrong with your spouse? Really going on with that? He's going in more on his dad than Logan. Hey, you wanna ask about the two dumb children? Shut the fuck up. Ask your <laughs> he comes mom. back. <laughs> ask your mom about the two dumb children. He comes back with a uh, a your mum joke, and even Logan Paul is just there like, "Do you see his hand?" He's just like, "What the fuck are you doing?" You ready for some questions? He wants right, him to get lost. It's terrible. About to do some questions, but yeah. Fuck you, Logan. Fuck Again with a chance. Logan. I feel like KSI is just you, he, he's winning the mental game. He has won the mental Fuck game you, already. Logan. How you feeling, bro? Is that Logan uh, Logan Paul doesn't want to be there. Hey, I would love to sit here and answer your questions. Right, I feel favorite. like KSI addressed everything. Right, JJ. Finding him out. Just, I'll see oh, you August 25th. Oh, that guy caught the mic. Hey, that is me? amazing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I, feel, I feel like Logan left very prematurely. I feel like he could have done a bit better there. KSI is obviously winning the mental game. I feel like KSI will win the fight. Logan just pussied out, really. He didn't really do anything. He just sat there and had a load of abuse struck at him and his dad. Fuck the balls! Fuck the balls! This was the UK press conference. This was KSI's press conference. The biggest shit talker on the YouTube. August 25th! Mark my words, that motherfucker is going down! I do hope he backs that up as well. I do hope that KSI wins the fight. I want to see him win the fight. I can't. I, I wouldn't be able to stand seeing Jake Paul and Logan Paul win both their fights. So I do want KSI and Deji to win. I don't play in this bitch. I don't play. Watch. Watch and learn. Fuck you. GG, motherfucker. Like I always say, I walk. I taught the talk. So yeah, that was the official press conference highlights. I watched the highlights because the full press conference obviously doesn't have the best stuff. But yeah, my opinions, I want 
Comedy Shorts Gamer to win against Jake Paul and I want KSI to win against Logan Paul. I feel like Jake Paul came out a bit better because he actually done some more at Deji but then Deji didn't actually care, he just parted it off. He, it was nothing to him so I feel like Deji done well in that regard as well. But I feel like it was a bit more like the USA press conference with the Walmart stuff, so I'm not really going to give an opinion on that, as in like a final verdict, but I do hope Deji wins the fight. In terms of KSI Logan Paul, Logan Paul's a massive pussy for pushing out that press conference. He didn't even say anything. And I feel like KSI has won the mental game, I really hope he does win the fight and backs up his talk the talk and walk the walk motto. But yeah, one day, obviously I hope to be involved in something like that, even if it's an undercard fight. Yeah, it's, it's good to watch, it's good for the YouTube, it's interesting, and I hope it does do well, because this sort of thing is good to watch. It's good to make videos on, and it's good to, you know, be somehow involved if the opportunity ever arises. It was a lot better than the USA press conference, where it was just like, Walmart! Yeah, there's no Nazi salutes from Jake Paul. There's, well, there was screaming, but you finally got to see the full extent that KSI was going in. Also, there was a clip of Greg Paul getting assaulted by a fan, and apparently he assaulted a fan, but in recent time there's been no evidence of the fan, so if he didn't assault a fan, I do not condone him getting hit, and I certainly do not condone any violence unless it's sports regulated or in self-defense, but, I mean, if he did assault a fan, he kind of got what was coming to him, however, he shouldn't really have been running in the street like that, and where he where he was obviously vulnerable, but I don't wish that on anyone, even if I dislike them. But yeah, I hope KSI wins and I hope Deji wins, hopefully August 25th will be great, I might stream the actual event happening at the time, with me watching it, obviously I can't stream the actual fight, because I would get my channel taken down and stuff for copyright infringement and whatnot, but I do hope that maybe I will get the opportunity to just, you know, stream it, watch it and see what happens across the whole pay-per-view. I hope one day to get involved, I will be doing boxing videos myself. So if you want to see those, make sure to stick around. My name's been Brooke, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.